Welcome to another episode of Africa Farming. My name as always is Samuel. In this particular episode, we'll be talking about something very, very common in sheep that most people might not know about, sheep's cub. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, sheep's cub. It's a very common phenomenon in most people who are keeping sheep. And for us here at Africa Farming, we noticed one of our sheep just exhibiting symptoms of this specific disease. So in this episode, we'll be talking about that. But before we do that, if you're new here, kindly take a second or two to subscribe and hit on the notification bell. You can also take some time and go to our channel, browse through and look at some of the videos that we've shot before that might be relevant to what you're currently doing or what you're thinking of doing. Now back to the subject of the day. Have you ever just noticed, for those people who keep sheep, when your sheep are just walking, you start seeing uh, one of your sheep skin just trying, you know, starting to break off and exposing the meat. That is one of the things that we experienced here at the farm. Uh, one of the sheep just started breaking its skin. The wool just started falling off, the skin broke off and started exposing the inner flesh. So I decided to go to the vet the vets actually advised us that this could be a case of sheep scab. Now for those people who don't know what sheep scab is, sheep scab is caused by a little mite on the skin of the sheep called Soroptis ovis. This little mite basically pricks the, sh the, the skin of the sheep and in the process they feed on, on, on the lymphatic and uh, tissue fluids of your, of your sheep. So basically what they do is once they are on the skin and they start pricking the skin, you will find that this um, skin of your sheep starts breaking, breaking, breaking. Now, especially on my sheep, it was, it was doing that on the thighs and also on the legs. So as you can see on your video, though right now we already did, we took precautions against it, so you might see it healing. But uh, I'll also put a video of a full-blown case uh, that you can see on your screen. How do you determine? What are the symptoms? Now, the first thing is, you'll find that your sheep kind of scratches a lot. It will go to, let's say, fence um, poles or fence, you know, where there is something that they can rub themselves against. And they'll do that. And in the process, they'll leave some of those mites there. So if you don't spray your sheep pen or where you, the sheep is around, you'll find that they, this thing will be highly contagious. They'll actually spread from one sheep to the other. So you need to be very careful and very cautious to know if you start, if a sheep starts exhibiting such symptoms where they keep going to a post or a fence or somewhere just to rub themselves, you need to make sure that you spray your sheep regularly so that such cases of infection or spreading of uh, these mites might not be there. The second symptom you'll also find them, if let's say you don't have posts and the fence, they'll use their teeth to, you know, you know, bite where these mites are. And, and this is actually one of the reasons why the flesh is always exposed. Because they are so irritating to a point where if they use their teeth, they kind of break the, the skin to the flesh, the sheep themselves. That is how serious uh, these uh, Soroptis ovis, these little mites are when they attack your sheep. So once your sheep start doing this and exhibiting these signs, you'll find even the wool of your sheep starts breaking and you know falling off. You'll now start seeing those scaby-like patches within your sheep, whether it's on the back, on the sheep. In our case, it was on, on the legs and the thighs. So once you start noticing those, be very, very, very cautious. Uh, you can even start by isolating that sheep don't don't mix it with the rest so there, there are two ways in which you can treat sheep scab the first way is by dipping not spraying dipping there's a difference between dipping and spraying when you spray chances are high that the spray will not you know touch all parts of your sheep unless you're just spraying i don't know the whole day but when you do dipping for your sheep the whole part of especially um, from the neck downwards will be submerged in the deep and of course that will apply on almost all parts of the sheep. So uh, one of the treatments is by dipping and not spraying. Of course for those people who don't have dips around you can result to spraying but make sure you spray every single part of your sheep. The second way in which you will treat after dipping is by going to your vet, the nearest agro vet. Go there and tell them this case of, uh, just explain to them what your sheep is going through they'll give you an injectable medicine and you come and you know inject on the neck of your sheep so for us we didn't just inject that one sheep we injected all the sheep within our farm because we didn't know how far 
this had spread. But now what, our, what the vet that we consulted told us is, uh, once we've injected all these others, after seven days, we should also inject the infected one. So we injected, the first round we injected all uh, the sheep with at least one ml of this uh, medicine that were given by the vet. And the second round after seven days, we came back and injected another one ml to the infected sheep. So right now, if you look at that sheep, it has started drying, uh, those uh, patches have started drying. It's no longer the flesh that we used to see, the red part, the red flesh that we used to see. So, so when you do the dipping and the injection, it's supposed to even prevent reinfection because sometimes you, these, uh, once maybe you dipped and without injecting, you'll find that these mites will still come back. Especially if they were left at the poles and you didn't spray those poles, the mites will still be there. So if one ship goes around there, it will still be attacked. So the purpose of injection is to just ensure that you prevent reinfection within 56 days. And the life cycle of these mites is always 17 days. So within 56 days, you are able to contain this, the spread of this disease to other sheep. So I hope whatever it is that you are, you've learned this, especially for those people who are keeping sheep. Make sure you're cautious and careful whenever you see some of these symptoms exhibited by your sheep. Make sure you also have appropriate hygiene and, and biosecurity in your sheep pen so that you avoid such future cases of sheep scab and even other diseases. That's it for us today. I hope you've learned a thing or two when it comes to sheep farming. Be careful with your sheep. Make sure you take good care of them proper hygiene, biosecurity and all that, just ensure that especially those people who bring, let's say, males to come and mate the females in their sheep, just make sure that you treat them well. Spray deep before they interact with your sheep and any other foreign animal that is coming. Make sure that you take the necessary precautions before you let that uh, strange or alien animal interact with your farm animals. For us, we don't know how it got the sheep's cup, but because the sheep are new here in the farm, we assume that it got it from where they came from. But that is also just a speculation, because one thing is once we constructed this sheep pen, we never sprayed the sheep pen before they came in. You're supposed to disinfect the sheep pen before they come in, which we didn't do. So it can be as a result of any of those. But we hope uh, once now that they have been treated, from here on, we'll actually take necessary precautions to ensure that we avoid such cases uh, in future. I hope uh, we've learned a thing or two, and until next time, changamuka na ukulima. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Asante. Hey, ships come, mazi. Inatufanya ile kitu.